this question says construct a perpendicular bisector of the line AB. So perpendicular means it's going to cross at 90 degrees. It's going to have a make a right angle with the line AB as it goes through it. Bisector means split in half. So it's going to be exactly in the middle of A and B. So we want a perpendicular line exactly in the middle of A and B. So we're going to use our compass. So I'm going to extend it. I'm going to place the point at one side, the point at A, and extend it beyond halfway. Now I'm going to draw a circle, or part of a circle, from A, and I'm going to switch it around, keeping it the exact same distance, so the exact same length, and I'm going to do a circle from B as well, or part of a circle from B as well. So we've got two intersections. We've got two intersections, and these are two points exactly the same distance away from A and B. And if we join them up, we have drawn a perpendicular bisector. So it's exactly in the middle, and it crosses at 90 degrees. This is also the locus of the points equal distance away from A and B. So every point along this line is an equal distance away from A and B. So that's a perpendicular bisector of the line AB. This question says, construct a line perpendicular to AB that passes through the point P. So it's got to go through the point P and it's got to be perpendicular to the line. So again, we're using a compass. So I'm going to put my point on P at this time, put my point on P, and I'm going to find two points an equal distance away from P. So I found two points, I've drawn a circle to find two points that are an equal distance away from P. Now I can do exactly what I did in the last question. I can do the perpendicular bisector of these two points. Construct a line where all the points on the line are an equal distance away from these two points, and that will be a perpendicular line through P. So again, I'm going to place my compass, the point, on one of the points. I need to extend it out beyond halfway and I'm going to draw a part of a circle. I'm now going to go to my other point and do exactly the same thing. So now I've got two points that are the exact same distance away. So I can join them up. And that is my line perpendicular to AB that passes through P. This question says bisect the angle at A. So bisect means split in half. So split this angle exactly in half, halfway between the angle. So I'm going to place my point of my compass exactly at A. And I'm going to find two points, one there and one there, exactly the same distance away from A. So I've got two points exactly the same distance away from A.
and I'm going to draw around, make part of a circle from one of the points, keeping the compass the same length. Draw part of a circle from the other point, and now I've got a point equal distance away from these two points. So that will bisect the angle. So there is my bisected angle. I've split the angle exactly in half. This question says construct a 60 degree angle. To construct a 60 degree angle, we draw an equilateral triangle. So we've got one line drawn for us here. Let's measure the length of it or get the compass to be the same length as this line. So that will be the length of every side on our triangle. So then if we draw one arc from that point, switch it around, keeping it the same length, and we can draw an arc from the other point, and so we've found a point that will give us each side the same length. So we can join up our corners. So if we wanted to draw an equilateral triangle, we would join all the corners. We only needed one though, because each of these angles now in this triangle will be 60 degrees. Each of these angles will be 60 degrees because every angle in an equilateral triangle is 60 degrees. So we've got a triangle with the same lengths, which means we've got three 60 degree angles. This question is asking us to construct a 30 degree angle. To do that, we're going to construct a 60 degree angle first. So draw an equilateral triangle, and then we'll cut that angle in half, we'll bisect it. So we'll get our compass and place it on one point, extend it. So we're drawing an arc with the same length. If we weren't given a line already, we can just draw one ourselves. It doesn't matter how long it is. All that matters is all three lengths of the triangle are equal. So we've got our compass extended, so it's the same length as this line. And then we can draw an arc, switch it around, go to the other end of the line, and draw another arc. So we can find where the two arcs meet. That's going to be the other corner of the triangle. And we'll join up our points, so we've got our 60 degree angle. So this is our 60 degree angle here. We're gonna cut that in half. So we're gonna bisect it. So we're gonna find two points, equal distance, So two points equal distance from our angle, where our angle starts. So two points equal distance. And then from those two points, we'll join two arcs and find where they meet. So where the two arcs meet, that point is exactly halfway, exactly splits our angle in two. So if we join up that point to our angle, we get, we split it in half and we get a 30 degree angle. So we've got a 30 degree angle here and a 30 degree angle here. 
So we've constructed a 30 degree angle. This question says construct the triangle ABC. So we've got to have 8 centimetres, which has been drawn for us, and then 6 centimetres and 5 centimetres. So we can use our compass and measure 6 centimetres. So this would be the line A to B. We want it to be 6 centimetres. So it's somewhere on this arc. These are all the points six centimeters away from A. It's somewhere on that arc. B to C is five centimeters. So let's measure five centimeters. So it's somewhere five centimeters away from C somewhere on this arc, so our triangle must have at its point, B must be at the intersection of our two arcs. So we join up, join C to B to A, and that is our triangle. And one more question. A stadium is located eight kilometers away from A and it's equidistant to the same distance away from B and C. Show the two positions the stadium could be. So it's exactly eight kilometers away from A and one centimeter is two kilometers. So every two kilometers is one centimeter so eight kilometers must be four centimeters. Every one centimeter is two kilometers. So four centimeters away from A. So we can draw all the points four centimeters away from A. So these are all the points four centimeters away from A. Everywhere on that circle, is four centimeters away from A, and it's equidistant from B and C. So we need to draw a perpendicular bisector of B and C, a line that, well, the locus of all points equal distance from B and C. So if we go to B, and draw an arc and then go to C the same length the exact same length and draw an arc we can find two points equal distance from B and C and then we just need to join them up and if we join up two of the points equal distance from B and C that would mean we've got all the points equal distance from B and C so where could the stadium be? There are two points that are eight kilometers away from A an equal distance from B and C. And I've marked them with an X. So where the line intersects the circle.